everybody, it's Retro Tech Toys, back again with another episode here. I want to talk about Retro Pi, because it's finally been released for the Raspberry Pi 4, and uh, we're going to check it out here. Now, I have the 4 gigabyte version of the Raspberry Pi 4, and I have this awesome 8-bit dough wireless controller, and we're going to check it out with both of those. We're going to see what kinds of games we can run. Now, I'm going to use the stock Raspberry Pi. I'm not going to overclock anything because I think it's interesting to see what it can do um, as the stock machine itself. And here we are on the RetroPie interface. As you can see, I've got games from Sinclair, I've got games from Amiga and Atari 2600, and I've got all sorts of stuff on here. I don't have uh, Dreamcast or any of that set up yet because I need to overclock before I can really run that well enough, but we're going to see what else we can run. Right now we've got a Virtual Boy game here. This is Jack Brothers. It's one of my favorite games for the Virtual Boy. And this game, I think, pretty much shows that the Virtual Boy was not that bad of a system. It just didn't have a great selection. And, you know, the red kind of hurt your eyes for a while. But you can play it like this just fine. You know, you don't have to stare into the uh, goggles and you can just emulate it. And I think these games are really playable. As you can see, it runs really well. Of course, it's going to run Virtual Boy. Uh, that's not a very hard system to emulate. And uh, let's move on a little bit here. We've got the Amiga. I'm going to play, I believe this is called Warlocks for the Amiga. And uh, we're going to see what we can do here. It looks like it's running really well. Of course, this is a pretty simple game to run. So, you know, it's not really emulating anything difficult. But I like this game a lot. It's a lot of fun. So I wanted to play it for a second. I wanted to show it running on the Raspberry Pi 4 and RetroPie. And just to let you know, if you want to download RetroPie yourself for the Raspberry Pi 4, just go to their website, download the image, download Etcher, and burn it to a micro SD card, and you're good to go. Or here's the Atari 7800. This is Double Dragon. And, uh, you know, it's, it's an okay port, I guess, but as you can see, uh, it runs really well. Again, this is a really simple console to emulate and uh, the Raspberry Pi 4 does it just fine as we expected. I'm pretty sure you could probably emulate this on a Raspberry Pi 2. So, you know, there's no big challenges here, but you know, again, I wanted to check out some things, some consoles that other folks might not have covered. Here's the version of Rygar for the Game Gear. Um, it works really well. I have no problems running anything for the Game Gear as you'd probably expect. This is kind of an odd version of Rygar that I've actually never played before. The NES version of the game is one of my favorites. This one's kind of odd, it's like one-hit kills and all sorts of weirdness. But here's Fantasy Zone for the Sega Master System. And, uh, you know, it's gonna run just fine again, so... You know, this is a fun little game to play, and uh, I like to play it from time to time. And you'll have no issues playing it on your Raspberry Pi 4, of course. Now, let's move on. You can emulate Game Boy Advance extremely well. Here's Crash Bandicoot. Again, this is kind of an odd version of Crash Bandicoot, but that's okay. Um, looks like you got one-hit kills in this game, too. What is it with one-hit kills all over the place? I hate that. <laughs> but yeah, look, it emulates it perfectly. There's no issues with it whatsoever. And here's the Nintendo 64. This is not perfect, I have to admit. The stock Raspberry Pi 4 does not emulate N64 as well as it probably could, but N64 games are not really so easy to emulate, um, and there are kind of faults that you see here and there, and that just can't be helped, and you're going to get that uh, through most emulation uh, when trying to play things like Mario Kart and so forth. But it runs it well enough, and it's perfectly playable. So now we have Neo Geo Pocket, and... Uh, no surprise here that this is going to run well. i just never seen anybody play Neo Geo Pocket on any videos for RetroPie or anything else, so I decided to give it a whirl. And uh, it runs smoothly. I expected nothing less. Alright, here is Soul Blade for the PlayStation 1. You can see right there that this has no problems running the PlayStation 1. It runs it perfectly. You'll have no lag, you have no issues, it's perfectly playable. Uh, this is probably the most advanced console that I'm going to cover today, and from what you can see here, uh, you'll have no problem playing your PlayStation games. Here is uh, the Sega 32X port of Doom. I just wanted to show that as well. It also runs just fine. 
You'll have no issues running Doom. I know I've been saying that a lot. No issues, no issues, no issues. What you will run into issues with is trying to run Dreamcast and all that stuff uh, without overclocking and adjusting a few settings, and I'll cover that in another video. But here is Doom playing just like it should. And lastly, one thing I thought was cool is you can install DOS games through DOSBox and play them on your RetroPie uh, set up through your Raspberry Pi 4. Now, this is one of my favorite games, Solar Winds. I've been playing this game religiously since it came out back in, what, 92? And there's also a Solar Winds Part 2, which I have not played very much. But this is a great game. It runs beautifully. And uh, I'm really, really, really impressed that uh, I can install DOSBox on a RetroPie and just enjoy my DOS library, which, you know, I do play a lot of DOS games, so that's so nice. And uh, that's all I have for today. I think RetroPie for the Raspberry Pi 4 is awesome. I believe it's still in the experimental stages, but I haven't seen any problems whatsoever. Uh, I'm able to connect my Wi-Fi, I'm able to play most games, I'm able to use most controllers, and it's really a breeze. And uh, I can't wait for future updates, and I'll be checking those out as well. And uh, that's all I've got for today. I really appreciate everybody watching Retro Tech Toys. I'll be back later with some other emulation setups for the Raspberry Pi 4 and a lot of other things too. So stay tuned for that. If you like this content, please hit subscribe. And be sure to hit that bell for notifications. And uh, hit that like if you like my content. And thank you so much. I'll see you next time.